This is one from the comment block, so let's check them out. Today we're bringing you Jan Thielman, from Ger a German 20-year-old wonder kid, contracted right now to FC Cologne, 12 million to 36 million, not too bad a number, 12 and a half K per week till 2024. His stats don't look all that bad for a 20-year-old, definitely closer to the average side than you would normally see on some of these wonder kid videos. His potential, I believe, is a negative eight, which definitely brings him up into the very good category that he, if he's able to reach his full-time potential, uh, he will get very good. We'll see in a little couple minutes right now. But you can see crossing of 12, dribbling of 11, finishing of 12, long shots of 12. I mean, he's got a lot of 12s, passing technique. These things definitely need to come up if he's going to, you know, activate his Wonder Kid status. But determination of 17, work rate of 17. You got to love someone who's got the work rate. Uh, acceleration and pace. Well, pace is 13. Eh, acceleration of 15 is fantastic, though. Mentally doing a little bit better than technically. But yeah, I really can't wait to see him in 10 years and see how he does. But as you can see, he's been at Cologne for uh, the while. Trier up until 17 and then all the way to Cologne. 65 appearances, 5 goals, 0 caps so far. We'll see if that is brought up a bit. Um, he scored his first senior club debut and made his senior club debut. And those are his only milestones. Injury-wise, he does have a major to start things out. Two moderates right after. Uh, all in the 2021 season. So not a great start there, but... That's it. Then you got a slight in 2020. It'll be interesting to see how the next 10 years go uh, with his injury status and everything else. But, you know, so far he's not very injury prone. It's just not looking all that great uh, in terms of the time he's going to miss. But with all that said, let's check him out in 10 years. 31 years old. He has 79 caps. So he has really picked it on for the German team. We'll see when that started in just a minute. But as you can see, he is now contracted Bayer Leverkusen, 18 and a half to 56 million. Not too bad of a price tag there. 140K per week as only a squad player. But you can sort of see why. I mean, he's picked up the pace there to 14. His technicals have gone up by about one. Thereabouts. Passing has gone up two. Uh, determination of action has actually gone down a bit. Overall, he hasn't grown as much as I would have expected, but he's still looking pretty nice. Uh, I mean, 13s all around. You still, for a regular starter in, you know, any of these top flights, you really would like to see more crossing of 14s or 15s, finishing a little higher, especially when you can play in that striker role. Uh, but, I mean, don't get me wrong. These numbers are still pretty good, especially as a squad player. 31 years old. He's having a fantastic career no matter what. If we quickly look at his history, as you can see, 24-25, he was picked up by Bayer Leverkusen for $43 million. He's had a solid run of sevens, don't get me wrong. Uh, and he's had a lot of games. 21, he probably had an injury, 31-32. It's 6-7-9, not doing all that great. 6-8-6, six, six, he's probably on the tail end of his career, starting to slightly go down, but still picking it up game-wise, so that's not too bad. I don't expect him to be at Le Bayer Leverkusen after this season or after this, uh, you know, once we look at his retirement date. Uh, but we will see. And But he's, I mean, he's still only three teams, two of which he's spent, pretty much 99% of his career at. Milestones, as you can see, Cologne relegated from the Bundesliga in 2024, bought by Bayer Leverkusen for 38 and a half, rising to 43. As you can see, they did reach that mark. First international cap against Norway at age 22 in the 2025 season. Uh, so right after start almost, he got his first international cap. Uh, first international goal at age 25. And then, I mean, seasonal best 11s. He's done very well. i I will take a look at his bio in a, little, in a minute, but I'm not seeing a lot of individual awards. Nope, nothing that I can see. But if we look at his bio, uh, joined, yeah. So as you can see, no, no individual trophies or team trophies to his name. But still, I mean, he's world, one of world's global superstars. I wonder why he's a world's global superstar. And some of the others that have done better than him are not. I don't know how that whole thing is. I mean, he's especially since he spent his entire life in Germany. Injury-wise, he has not picked up too many more. I mean, four moderates, five more moderates uh, from the 2025. Wow, he had nothing between 2021 and 2025. That is fantastic. Another major sports hernia. Uh, so overall, definitely not injury-prone. He will pick up a knock here and there. Some will be not so great. Uh, but for the most part, only out for a couple of days, hopefully, if you're lucky. Tactically, as you could see, in this season at least, he was pretty much used all around the board uh, for the club. 
12 is striker. Three goals, one assist. Yeah, yeah not great. Uh, five is an AMC. Four is an AMR. One is an AML. So he does have a good set of versatility right there. I mean, all across the midfield and above. But internationally, 41 appearances in the midfield right and only one as a striker. 8-10, though. Three goals in that one match. That was a fantastic match. Four goals out of all that as a strike as a uh, right midfielder. Not too bad. 7-4-1 is a fantastic number right there. But I do want to see where he ends up in the next couple of years. So let's see where he retires. Yep. Like I said, he is no longer at Bayer Leverkusen. He is at Wolfsburg instead. Has been here for a couple of seasons. Uh, and actually made a change to RB Leipzig for, for a season there in between. But 36 years old. He is planning to retire at the end of the season. Uh, his numbers look fine. Pretty much the same as usual. His physicals have gone down. Mentals and technicals, not too bad. Uh, emergency backup. I did look one season before and he was an impact sub. Wanted to fight to retain his, you know, to regain his place in the squad. But yeah, 36 years old. He's only going down from here. Only listed at 10K right now. He's listed for, does he transfer listed? Yeah, but he's retiring. So it doesn't even matter whatsoever. Still retains his versatility though. Not too bad. Only five off the bench in the Bundesliga this season. Uh, is he having another injury crisis? 36? No, he's not. He's just getting old. That's it. So milestone wise, uh, champion European Championship winners in Germany. So he has his, he, well actually DFB Pokal winners. He's starting to get some actual trophies. Uh, but DFB Pokal winners, DFB Pokal winners, Bundesliga champions. He's won the DFB Pokal with three different teams in three different years, in consecutive years. That is pretty cool to see. Uh, champions League forward of the season, third place. So he's finally starting to pick it up. Unfortunately, it's too late in the se in his career. Uh, but still, finally starting to get some trophies into his cabinet, both personal and club, and actually international. So he's actually had a fantastic end of his career, better than a lot. But that is going to do it for Jan Thielman and his career. It actually is not a bad career. Uh, probably could have grown a little bit better with a negative eight potential. But overall, I mean, still, he's he's looking pretty nice. So definitely one to scout. If anything, as a backup, uh, bit better than an impact sub or something like that. Uh, but, you know, a squad rotation is pretty good for him. But that is it for Jan Thielman. I am Stephanie FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.